hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. And in this episode, Cecil and Rydia are going to be venturing through a certain cave, where hopefully Rydia will not die through her weak health, well, weak amount of health and weak defence. And then we'll also be meeting a new character by the name of Teller. So without further ado, time to get straight into it. Missing about, you know how it is. Have I gone the wrong way? I think I might have. I guess we'll see in a sec. I could have, which would be really annoying. I don't get why this is lagging though, because it wasn't before. Why do games lag even more when I start recording? I'm guessing it's because they're getting recorded, but. Wait, what? Oh, that's damage. Do you want to be dealing? Jesus. See, that very bit you just saw briefly is, um. Oh, don't go that way. <clears throat> is the bit I'll be coming out of, but I'll probably do this dungeon this episode and probably. This dungeon only. I might be doing a bit afterwards, I don't know. But yeah, there's an oh god, what am I doing? It's not the best. I'm gonna have to use magic, it's a shame I haven't met Tella yet. So yeah, there's no point doing that, you gotta use magic. Whatever way. Um I'm gonna have to just use lit, I'm just gonna have to be lit. It's lit! Yeah, I don't think it was good um, to uh, see the zombies now. I think they want you to see the zombies once you've um, met Teller, which is actually... He's in this floor. It's just a shame that I'm fighting him now. No, I didn't want that. I wanted to attack multiple. Not just him. Or her, it could be a her. Never know. There we go, alright. It's because I've been playing FF1 and I'm just used to going singular targets, or if it goes for multiple targets, that's shown at once. Wow, this is bad. Real bad. Come on. This is unlucky, as I've already seen these bitches. Come on, please. I could have just left them because it's not a good idea to uh, see them yet, but yeah, well that's uh, quite a lot of uh, MP munched up just in that battle alone. Hopefully I don't see them again. Thank God, right, evil shell. Which was quickly defeated by Rydia. Just literally holding down A for like an auto battle type thing. Go on, dear. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Next attack. So, yeah, the water bug just F's off if it's on its own eventually. So, you've got to try and kill it beforehand, but it's not easy to do without Teller. I guess you could try and kill it before it flees by not killing the um, others, but it's fine. Go on. Please tell me this is it. Yes, killed it, good. So as you can see, good experience here. Ooh, Venom. Shame that is absolutely useless. Right. It's a good thing you get um, your 10th tutorial up, uh, coming soon. Well, not soon, but it's not that far into the dungeon. So you get two chances to heal in this two-stage dungeon, I guess you could say. There's two parts to it, but the first part's the main part, so there's a tent. Anyway, oh, this should be the last battle without Teller. Right, I'm going to have to, and I... It's lit! Boom. 
Yeah, I should have probably multi-targeted, but I keep on forgetting that this isn't FF1. It doesn't automatically go in on all targets. See, this is the only problem with playing FF1. Because I will be doing the remake to that eventually, right? You've got to do it yourself in this one. Because in that one, the first, so Fire, Blizzard and Thunder only attack one. Can't attack multiple. And Fire Arga, Thunderga, Blizzarga, Blizzar, all that lot. Um, are basically, they just automatically go after everybody. Anyway, what? You wield the Dark Sword? Help me, I beg you. What? The wicked bard tricked my daughter into running away to Damsian. And I sense evil in that direction of Damsian. You must be the sage teller. I am teller. I'm going to Damsian to get my daughter who eloped. But a huge monster is blocking the way. My magic is not strong enough to defeat it. Your dark sword might help. And this girl is a caller. She is quite gifted, I sense. We are also on our way to Damsian. Good. Let us work together to get to Damsian. Let's hurry. And yeah, just wait until you see his level. And I believe that waterfall's the hidden waterfall thing, yes. Oh, level 20. Beautiful. And he's got pretty good magic already and all. Um, well, not quite yet, but... He will do. But yeah, the thing that FF4... Well, the thing that makes FF4 much different to most other Final Fantasies is that... Um, just your party swapping changes a lot. Anyway, probably no. Oh. Keep on forgetting about that. At least one's dead. You know, it's seven minutes. Jesus, it's taking a long time. Anyway, it's lit. Boom. Obviously, this was bef this was before they were called stuff like Thunderga, Fire Arg, and all that lot. And obviously, it looks much older than the FF3 I played, because obviously that was the remake, as you know. But, I mean, I could have played the FF4 remake and all, but I just want to play the original. Because um, that's the one that I played a few years ago now, because I remember when I played I think it was called Super Retro... Oh, God, what was it called? Super Retro 6 or something like that? Super Retro something. What am I doing? Right, anyway, let's go find that hidden waterfall. Well, yeah, it is a hidden waterfall. Nice hidden area. I don't think you can get encounters in here, but look at that, 1,000 GP. Cure 2 and an elixir that this early on, like, who would believe it? Who would have funked it? Anyway, what's next? What's next on the agenda? It's lit. It's lit. So yeah, the only enemies... I believe the only enemy in this um, dungeon that isn't weak to lightning... Um, is... Um, what am I thinking of? Crocodile, of course, yes, crocodile. Why is he not dying? Makes no sense. Come on, you've got to die now, surely. Hey, there we go. Managed to kill it in time. Maybe the magic, maybe magic isn't the best idea against them, I don't remember now. Probably should remember. Anyway. The one, I, the ones I remember the most is free. I need to brush up my knowledge on seven a bit. Um, I need, I do need to play that um, again and properly. Um, cause I, didn't, I didn't ever complete it, and um, I feel like that's shameful as a Final Fantasy player. I feel like I need to delve into the world of. Final Fantasy 7. At least once more, just to like play it, get nostalgia, and actually complete it. If I can. Because we all know, well, loads of people know, 
how hard the final boss is, I'm not going to say who it is, but I'm guessing most of you here would already know who the goddamn well that is. Um, but yeah, not quite. There we go, black magic. It's lit. Zoom. Oh, go on, Cecil, cut him up, cut him up. Chop, chop, chop. Now it's just time to bonk him. Yeah, let's go for that. Rydia gained a level. Is that to level 10 or level 11? I didn't bother playing to level 11. Lovely. So yeah, Teller isn't really going to go up any levels here. We might go up one. But yes, the tent is actually close by. It's nice that they put it quite close by. I feel like they know Rydia's really going to get a bit of a beating, you know. Because, well, she isn't the best, is she? Not at this stage. Arguably, you could say she gets better. But... She can still be taken down too easily, eventually. Anyway... Oh, I'm going to have to have to do it. Only one, though, because I might need to keep his magic, you know? That can come in handy for the boss. And that's actually an another uh, boss battle with a gimmick as well. Because of um, the way it works. It's not really a gimmick like with the um, Mist Dragon, but it's still a gimmick nonetheless. But you'll see what I mean eventually, you know. You'll just, you just see what I mean. You use remedy, nobody cares. Well, that's bang on a hundred damage. Chop, 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 chop. Bonk. Don't you dare flee, come on. Don't flee, you flee. You didn't, good, you flee. Right. I don't know why I'm hesitating to move across here because I know, but yes, yeah, that little um, building there. What a carved cave, shall we say? Oh god. Why did I have to be surprised? Also known as a back attack. Whoa. Should still be fine, as you know, probably. Oh yeah, they're pretty weak. Tell her the sage, you must use your lightning and defeat these sons of bitches. Here we go. Zom. Oh, yes, they're pretty resilient. Lovely. That's fine. There's nothing a good old Cecil with a dark sword can't do. Bonk. Why is she doing incredible damage? It's not like Rydia. It's not like I'm really complaining because, yeah, she can go ahead and deal that much damage, but... Maybe um, she's feeling sorry for um, everybody who doesn't like it. Anyway, let's take rest here. So this is introducing you to a save point, which is also a place you could rest. A special field here will protect us from monsters. We can use our tent or cabin and even save. Let's rest now and be prepared for the coming battle in my tent. You say that, but there's still quite a lot of the dungeon left, you know? You done now? Big shack. Anyway. Fast asleep. She must have been very tired. You said she was a caller of mist. She seems very gifted as a magic user. With proper training, she will be able to wield the magic others um the magic other than calling monsters. How sweet, just like Anna's childhood. Anna is your only daughter. She ran away to Dampsion with a bard, because I did not consent to their marriage. What do you want to go to Dampsion for? My friend is suffering from a terrible fever in Kaipo. So you need the sand ruby. So you too are in a hurry. What is the monster of this cavern? It's a horrifying monster with eight huge tentacles. So you can probably guess what it is already. Now you must defeat it first to save Anna and your friend. 
whoop, whoop, here we go. Let's go, yeah, let's go. First, let's see. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just like that. Level 1 to level 11. I had a 1 straight onto there. Oh no, battle. What am I ever to do? It's lit. Zom. Well, that didn't do a lot, did it? I should probably keep a magic. Because she'll need it for the big bad boss. Unless, of course, I do use a tent when it gets to the outside bit. I don't lose usually, but I might do it. It's best to be safe than to be sorry, you know? Chop, chop, chop. There we go. Lovely. Right. Up here we go. Ice rod. Who's that going to go to, then? Maybe to you? Maybe to you. There we go. Lovely. Would ice rod really be helpful here? Against the crocs it would be, but... Not if there is no crocs. In croc creek. I'm joking. Wow. Looks like ice is the best bet against it. Do you know what? No, 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 no. It's not always magic. Let's chop up the bitch. You do that. As long as it can be reversed. <coughs> I'm fine with that. Have I got Maiden's Kiss? No, but I have got a heal. I'll do. Hopefully it doesn't happen another three times. Because that would be an absolute disaster. Yes, it would. Right. If I remember rightly, you go right to get the... Yep, you go right to get the... Or the, the uh, equipment. Oh, crap. These have to be taken out um, with magic. What's going to be good against them? I don't know. I guess I can see if they're lit. And I can see if they'll freeze to death. Zom. Not the best. Ice. Shh. Maybe not. A critical hit. And it dealt one damage. Yeah, you're pretty useless because you don't know fire because she's scared of fire. But understandable because of what happened. So take it away. I should have guessed because, yeah, jelly will melt. Mm -hmm. Put it on a saucepan. It's sure to burn. Anyway. 200 GP. A cure one. And I go up. And I go across. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Oh no, whatever as whatever if I if you if supposed to if do if Chocobo takes seven. Mm. Fire in the hole. Be gone, you foul beasts. Until next time, you shall die. Come on, Rydia. Deal some good damage with your ice rod. Ice, ice, baby. See, the mages deal more damage. Lovely. You only give about the same amount of experience as the ones in the overworld, and they're much easier to defeat. So it makes sense to grind outside. Ooh, next bit, lovely. Oh yes, this bit, I don't remember if this is even a shortcut. Is it worth time? Maybe it is. I don't remember. Oh great, will you go away? Fire one. Do some damage then. Nearly 20 minutes. Uh, that's fine. Chop, chop.
do a bonk bonk please with you. Just bonk bonk. Bonk bonk, there we go. Bonk bonk. Let's see what's over here. Cure one, lovely. And it's a lever. Wow, a lever. I feel like she needs the defense, you know. Oh, it does good for a magic and all. Well, you'd have thought it. Right, you give a bonk bonk to that one, because I feel like that one will be one to survive, you know, so. It just ensures that everything dies. Even though they're already kind of dead, but yeah, you get what I mean. Oh no, the only the only time I don't go for that first one, and that's the one I needed to bonk bonk. I sound like a blooming three year old. Bonk bonk. I want my bonk bonk back. Chop chop. Wow. Now you crit. But I've got to say, that's amazing damage to crit on. Yes, I know that's probably dirty minded. But. Cares, we live in a weird and corrupt world. The people are, well, weird and corrupt. Right. Burn you to the ground. See, so, yeah, I kind of forgot about the zombies and jellies and how they're weak to fire, so they're not the only ones to be impervious to lightning. I don't like watery enemies anyway, I always find them annoying. Right. Up the weird blue stuff we go. Right, we'll get into the end of this first section very slowly. Ether one. Ether one. But I'm not going to be using that, and I want to keep them. Mad Toad. It's mad. Ice. Thanks. Yeah, I waited on that to see if it would be worth doing that, but no. So yeah, crits seem to break the damage break of whether you do, like, between 1 to 10 damage. Like, crits work on zombies if they only deals, like, 1 damage usually. Which is interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, yay, more cave toads, you're a toad, whoa, 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 no point wasting living MP there, is there, Jesus, go on with you, do your best, bonk, bonk, I'm guessing because it's an ice rod and they are weak to ice, yeah, who, who said looting wasn't worth it? Oh, come on. You cannot be serious. No. Only real problem with these bitches. They can cast Toad. What trolls. Gotta waste my heels on you, bitch. Really? Oh wow, only had one elf and all, I knew it. I guess it's not every day you can say you've killed an enemy with a... Uh, well, as a toad. So I'm gonna have to waste this, but it's fine. Another one, boom, there we go. And yeah, another interesting thing about, um, four is that you can't change the formation, well you can't change whether it'll be at the um, well you can change if it'll be at front or back road by like changing but you can't individually change each per each characters anyway we can go out from here, the monster is in the cave beyond there we should camp to regain our strength out there so yes you can't, so you can't move Cecil to the back but keep Rydia and t tell her at the um, front you can only yeah, look, you can only change if it. They all go to the front and like swap and stuff like that. 
Oh no, it's evil Sandmen. Whatever am I to do if? Wow. She's such a beast at the moment. Like, she, she's not... Wow. <laughs> I guess it, it is the ice rod that's helping. i got to say, got newfound respect for her. I guess I'll use a tent. I'm going to have enough of them. As I said, I do usually risk it and go in without a tent, but... Well, without using a tent, but... It's fine. I will get away with it. It's fine. See, I like to exchange and, um... Change when I do that. Anyway, um... Now I'll make this type of save state, you know. Right, here we go. Waterfalls. It's down here. Not really. Still got a bit to go from here. Yeah, there's nothing down there anyway. Final part of this dungeon. Gonna get ready to fight the horrid evil creature with eight arms slash legs slash whatever. Oh, great. Fantastic. So it's not a good idea to use magic on these. Or is it not to use physical attacks? Yeah, it's to, not to use physical attacks. Crap. It's lit. Right, okay then. I'll use ice one on all you sons of bitches. Oh, never mind, it was that. It's just, oh dear, not psych. Is it the worst possible move you could use? You know what, no, I'm not happy with that. I'm loading state. I'll speed up until I get back to there. I'm not having that. It's never happened to me before. So why should it happen to me now? Why is it why is it doing the exact same thing? And again with these bitches, right, okay then. You're dead. Harry. They won't lose hold. If they manage to survive, why did I do that? Oh idiot. Yeah, I did it again. Speed up this battle. Just parry until they get back up. Come on, Cecil. You can get up. There we go, right. Parry. Please be careful. Who I attack with. Now you die. Great damage. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Now you parry. Now you parry. And you attack. Oh. That was a stressful job and it didn't need to be. But it's fine now. Darkness. Darkness. Right. Getting full dark. Dark gear now. What we're doing. That's not one. Here we go. That's one. Not that yet. We do get the other two in here though. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Getting there. So that waterfall. Well, there is a waterfall you go to. Darkness. Alright, one more darkness thing. That's a shield. Whenever you do get that. Anyway, let's have a look. Amazing. Amazing! Oh no, is this going to be a crop? Oh no, it's an alligator. Never mind. It's a crocagator. Nice one on you, you son of a bitch. It's going to do like 300 damage. Close that, close. Now I'll just melee the crap out of these bitches. 
Bye bye. Everybody bonk these. Bonk bonk. Chop chop. Amazing. Didn't use remedy, so its health didn't. Um, go back up. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Just stop with these encounters now, don't we? Yes, we do. Ice one. I see you. You see me. Shing. Oh, uh, a very tough enemy that can take a while to kill. Just gets taken out like that. Lovely. Bonk, bonk. Go on, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Oh, dear. You missed the bonk, bonks. So what are you doing? Chop, chop. There we go. Lovely. Good experience, though, from the Crocker Gators. Right, I could still get an encounter before this happens, but anyway... do because I kind of want uh, to have quite a bit of um, MP and so does he he needs a bit and all right this is going to be probably the final battle do anyway he's coming or maybe not but anyway here's Octoman at least you get to hear this awesome music again do 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 do, 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 do. So yeah, chocobos are a good um, thing to do here. So as long as Optiman doesn't attack you, the, uh, it would be um, fine. The more legs you take out, the slower it gets. As you can see, 46 to here. Ouch. But it's got nothing on me, it's fine. Once it gets to about four legs, it's a doddle. It should be a doddle. Unless, of course, that happens. Oh, wow. Quite resilient there. Okay, this is the gimmick. It's just... You've got to slow it down by taking out its legs one by one. Go. See, a chocobo isn't the most important thing, but it still does a bit of damage. It does more than lit one, obviously. And then Cecil's damage is just off the roof. You know what we're doing? Call cool. chocobo, boom. Amazing. Critical. Bonk. Three left. Shouldn't be two, no. Should be nearly done soon. Ow, nine damage. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, amazing damage for now. Good job. He's slowing down. Do 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 Yeah, you can see why Teller can do it on his own. I guess he could have kept on healing himself though when he went it got a bit low, but yeah anyway, there we go. Amazing. Whoop whoop. Yeah, Toad is pretty pointless, but nonetheless. Now we can go to Dampsion from behind this waterfall. It leads to the exit. Right, oh, what am I doing? That's not what I want to do, is it? No, it ain't. Right, let's go. Oh, no. It's some sandmen. Basically, so hanging out of water that have been... Um, how can I put it? Um, evoked with the power of sand. Even though they're pretty pathetic enemies, but who 
fucking video, you're supposed to deal like crap tons of damage this early on in the game. Never mind. There we go. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right, anyway, cutscene time. Well, kind of. Oh no, Dampsian has been wrecked. Anyway. Gotta hear this sad music. Yep, there's one lonely chest that was waiting to be opened. Cutscene time. That is Anna. Ah, uh, Anna. You're the bard. You did this to her. He's going to call him a spoony bard. That's what makes this the best battle ever. Hopefully he doesn't kill him. You swindler! Because I believe Edward actually can die. Please, listen. Good, he missed. You spoony bard! There we go, calling him a spoony bard. Please! Shut up! Yep, he's not happy. Listen. Shut your mouth. It's a bit rude now, Teller. Come on, hear him out. I, I, please stop. See, now Teller stops. Are you all right? Father, Edward is the Prince of Dampsian. He was disguised as a bard when he came to see me in Kaipo. Forgive me, Father, for running away. But I love Edward. We thought of asking for your consent. But when we were about to leave, Golbez attacked us with Baron's Red Wings. Who is that man? I don't know. But why? He took our crystal of fire and Anna shielded me from the arrows. Yes, that's the first time we hear of Golbez. Anyway, you loved him that much? Father, forgive me. I love Edward. Deaded. Anna. 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 I could just imagine him like getting on his knees with his hands up in the air. Who is Golbez? I heard that he's gathering crystals using Baron's red rings. <laughs> Stop crying. Your tears won't bring back Anna. Wait for me, Golbez. I'm coming to avenge my daughter. You can't go alone. Slaps him out of the way. I don't need any help. This is my own affair. No, it isn't. Everybody's been affected, Teller. Come on. Come on. Need you in your party, man. Uh, Anna. Yeah, he's still crying. Cry, baby. You are a man. You are a grown-up. You are not the only one who has lost loved ones. Rydia. You may be right. I'm just a coward, but I don't care. I'm staying here with Anna. Slap round the face again. You're not the only one who is sad, Edward. Besides, Anna won't be happy if you do that. We really need your help. Please come with us. My help? I am Cecil. I'm looking for the Sand Ruby to help my friend who is ill in Kaibo. And I need your help. I help you? Yes, you. I wouldn't think that's a good idea, Cecil, because he's pretty crap. She seems to be an important person. You shouldn't lose your loved one. The Sand Ruby is made from the Antleon. Or Antlion. Oh, I think that's no, pronounced Antleon. When it lays its eggs in the cave. The cave is in the east, but we must go across shallows to get there. There is the hovercraft in Dampsian we can use. We can also get to Kaipo through the shallows. Let's hurry. Prince Edward joined as a bard. Lovely. So I guess his weapons can be good. We could put to sleep or confuse, but overall, he, he can just die too easily. And yeah, look, still. Goodbye, Anna. Still can't let it go quite yet, but 
obviously, you do lose a loved one. People react differently. Obviously, Rydia wasn't happy with that because, yeah. But I want to go back in there to heal up HP and MP. So I'm going to do this. Makes it easier that way. And then once I've done this, time to end the episode. Right. There we go. MP recovered. Boom, boom, boom. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down we go. Before I do end it though, I'll go across the, sh the shallows. In the shallows, when I die. Anyway, I want to. Oh, I'll land here then. Anyway, I'll make a quick, a very quick save, you know. Oh, oh. Uh, I said save. There we go. Anyway, so as you can see, now I've got Edward as a bard, level 5, Riddy is 13, Cecil is 15. Them two should be fine. But yes, that marks the end of this episode. So, I hope you have enjoyed the second part of my playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. I know these first two episodes have been quite far apart. But I had some important things to do, so that's two days without a video. But I doubt you mind, because I've been doing quite a lot of videos. It's the first two days I've missed without doing a video in ages. But I hope you don't mind, as I said. And I'll see you tomorrow for my continuation of Final Fantasy IV. Because I'll probably be starting the new playthrough on Monday. If not, I'll be carrying on with FF4 until I decide to do it. Won't leave it too late. But anyway, let me rumble on. As I said, I hope you have enjoyed... And I'll see you in that episode. And until then, with a massive thumbs up, all I've got to say to you now is goodbye and good night.